Everybody got a beat making video. I've done a couple of them before. I don't want to take away the mystery of the whole craft, but you know, I can show y'all some things. Right now, I'm using this MP, of course, my baby, with uh, Reason. And I'm um, flipping this sample right here. Diggers probably know what it is. <laughs> some up tempo nah actually I'm not today I got the sample chopped up uh, I got two versions of the sample chopped up stretched and pitched down so let's see should be able to hear yeah, that's one of them right there filtered up I'm gonna take that filter off so you can kind of hear what it sound like this is without a lot of the vocals <laughs> my drums right I got an idea what I want those to sound like uh, got reason MIDI up you know uno chord MIDI to the USB right now so I got drums in here you know Let's see all these got the metronome on but got the timing off Sometimes it take a little work, get your pocket right, but sometimes you just gotta turn the joints off. I'm not, I don't swear by that. Sometimes I have them on, but we're gonna just keep the vibe kind of natural so we ain't gotta use no metronome. Alright, so we got those laid in. Drums is gonna take a minute. Once again, I ain't gonna kill the mystery, so y'all gonna have to see the drums getting made like on edit. I'm just messing around, you know what I'm saying? Patch of hi hats rolling, so I can do stuff like that. And you know, with the different velocities just sound real dope. You know, you can play it on the keyboard too. cool thing I like to do for the sample, the filter sample, kind of have a, a filter going. So on Reason, I got a track dedicated to the filter. That's it right there. So when I move the modulator, you'll see the green light come up, you know, because it's activity. So if I play that... <laughs>
cuts her off at the beginning of the video, so let me turn the filter back on. I'm bugging over here, thinking about why I ain't playing. Being, alright. So now, you should be able to hear this. So we got that light in there. So yeah, baseline. Let's add the baseline to the joint. So it's real close to F in a way. Just got one more sharp, but it's real cold. How you catch that 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 uh that bend? You know what I'm saying? That's when it's tight when you come in. Running through that one. Let's see, where's it at? Drop that. Alright, and uh, let's see what else we got. We got other stuff on here too, like uh, I got this pad. I pretty much remember how to play it, so I'll drop it in. <laughs> Next one could be something like Uh, see. 
pretty much, um, I had that going with a filter. take all that sometimes the MP get a little frustrated you know so you gotta say it but uh that's pretty much the whole track man I got 16 tracks how many uh devices 11 devices total you know automated whatever it is keys to drums to my bass line to the samples you know I got two sets of the sample and two filters you know one going for that and one going for those strings we just played so all together you know you got a nice little fleshed out beat even before you get the, uh, the synth really in there. Wow. Um.